Hi, right, we're going to calibrate our SL7510 today. Uh, what you want to do is turn the indicator on, let it go to zero, and from there press the hold and print button simultaneously uh, until you get to the calibration. From here, C01, um, you would choose either if you want to calibrate in kg or pound. So if you're going to press print, um, this already on pounds, but you could choose kg as well, which is one. So two is pounds, and we'll press print. To enter C02, you press print again to enter into that parameter, which is the how many decimals you want. So uh, with floor scales, usually you calibrate them to either 5,000 or 10,000 pounds, um, and you need one pound accuracy. So we would uh, leave it at zero, but if you want to change them, I just want to show you that you could go up with zero, and you have up to four decimal points, three decimal points, two, or one. It also uh, matters how many, uh, what kind of scale it is and how many load cell it has. Uh, from there, you could adjust the decimal points uh, as well. So go ahead and press print, and you'll move on to C03. Press print again. This is the accuracy of the scale. So if, um, if you have one pound accuracy, you could choose that. Two pounds, five, 10, 20, 50, or back to one pound. So one pound accuracy and press print. C04, go ahead and press fr print. This is the capacity of the scale. So how, many, how much uh, weight you could go up to. Um, in this situation, we have 10,000 pounds, but you could lower it down to 5,000. If you wanted to, you could uh, go to the left with units, and uh, you could go up with the zero button, or go down with a tear, and uh, shift over with count. So um, it has arrows as well. Go ahead and press print to choose the 10,000 pound capacity. C05, so you're going to press print again. Uh, it, it will give you the option to zero out the scale. Basically, um, you have to make sure there's nothing on the scale and the feet are installed and they're all leveled out. And go ahead and press print on that as well. It would do a countdown for you. Um, after that, if the zero is stable, that's a great sign. Go ahead and press print again and get to the Z06, which is the final step where you would put your calibration weight on the scale. So, or, or if you have a good reference weight, that could also work as well. But just remember that whatever weight you use, that's what the scale is going to remember. And if you, you know, if you if you're putting 100 pounds and you're saying that this is, you know, 50 pounds, then it will be 50 50 pounds off. So it has to be correct. So we have to press print. From here, go up to one and press print as well. Um, this section is where you would you would put out the actual number. I have 1102, um, I have 500 kg above the scale, and I'm going to lower that down. Okay, so I have the weight on the scale. I'm going to hit print, and wait for the countdown. It's going to show you some numbers, and from there it will say cal end. Go ahead and press the ACCUM button to go back to the reading mode. Very well, so it's telling me I have uh, 1102, uh, if I were to press the units button, it would show you that's 500 kg, um, and it is good to go. Thank you so much for watching our video. Let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day. Bye-bye.